what is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Nasser and I'm now a fourth year medical student studying at King's College London and somehow magically we've just passed 250,000 subscribers which is beyond ridiculous and I know I say this every single time we pass some sort of new milestone but a quarter of a million people choosing to click subscribe on my channel is just crazy. So in today's video, I thought it would be fun to take a trip down memory lane and have a look through some of the older videos that I have here on the channel, have a little nostalgic trip about what two to two and a half years of video making looks like. So I put out a post on my Instagram story and you guys worked your magic and let me know which of my older videos you wanna see me react to. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, you can do so at Karma Medic. I post more regular updates about my life over there. And every now and again, you guys get to influence what it is that I do in my videos. All right, I'm gonna move to the side over here so that there's some space for us to watch videos together. Now by far the most highly requested video for me to react to is my very first video here on the channel And I'm really not looking forward to that because I know it's gonna be cringy. I know it's gonna be weird but That's probably exactly why you guys requested it. I see you. I see you. my journey to medical school Uploaded almost two years ago on March 7th 2018 Damn master card. Oh god. All right <laughs> Hi, my name is Nasser Karma. I'm currently a graduate on the undergraduate medicine course at King's College London. Can we just talk about the quality for a second? This was the front facing camera of my iPhone 8, the same one that I use right now. I didn't even use the back camera, I used the front facing camera. I had my phone balanced up on a bunch of cardboard boxes. My bed is messy, my clothes on the thing are messy. I'm 22 years old and I want to start making YouTube videos. I've been through the process of applying to both UK and Canadian medical schools. I've learned a lot of things along the way. I think I might be able to help some people out. Okay, so just a little bit of background about me. <laughs> I'm so awkward talking to the camera and I'm, I'm clearly very nervous. And you know, I think, that, I think that's totally okay. Obviously, when you first start talking to a camera, which is an inanimate object, you know, it takes a little bit of time to get used to. I was born in Vancouver in July of 1995. And I soon after moved to Greece two months later uh, for my dad's work. That's where I spent eight, almost 18 years of my life. You know, what? at this time, like I knew the quality of the video wasn't good. I knew I was shy. I knew that I wasn't talking in an engaging way, but I was just hoping that whatever I was saying was actually going to be valuable and it was actually going to help students get accepted into medical school. I can't add the BMAT, but at the time, I didn't take it too seriously. <laughs> Oh my god. I to those schools. I took the UK cat and the BMAT. Yo! What an amazing transition title coming up. Oh my gosh. Leave a like if you want tips on UK cat prep. Someone tell me why I capitalized every single word in every sentence that I wrote. And the BMAT. We have here. Fantastic time. Look at that red text on top of a red bed. <laughs> this thumbnail, I made it in Microsoft Word. Okay. I used an orange text and then put a shadow in blue. What was I thinking? All right, I think that's enough cringing at Nasser from two years ago making his very first video. The next video that I wanna jump into is this UK cat video, the 99th percentile one. Have a look at this background. My beautiful whiteboard with Karma Medic written on it. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. So one of my goals with this video is to try and figure out when I came up with the phrase, welcome back to another dose. I can see I have a little pill there, a little medicine tablet. That's what this circle is supposed to represent. Wait, let's see, did I say it in this video? What's up guys, Karma Medic here. Welcome back to another dose. Ooh, all right, all right, all right, okay, okay. Hold on, we need guys, to talk Karma about these logos. We here. need to talk Welcome about these logos. Okay. <laughs> this was sort of like, I think it was my first channel banner. That's what it was. It was my first channel banner. And when I was thinking about what I wanted to write on my channel banner, I wrote, get your dose that you guys can see down there. And this picture over here, that was the very first picture that I ever uploaded to my Instagram page, Karma Medic. So if I scroll down to the very bottom of my Karma Medic page, there it is, right there at the bottom. That's where Welcome Back to Another Dose came from, get your dose, and here's a hand holding that dose. Okay, so that's cool, that's, uh, that's a nice thing to remember. Then I moved on to MMI interview stuff. One of the videos that did really well was this one here, How to Break Bad News. Welcome back to another dose. Yo, welcome back to another dose. How have you guys been? I hope interview prep has been going well. Oh, I changed another the posters. MMI video. Yeah, I changed the poster orientation from my earlier videos. Now I've got them in frames, which I think looks so much nicer. Anyway. Go for you guys to and I think something really interesting to react to would be my first vlog, medical school vlog. My paper was specifically looking at what 
Yo, all right, all right, all right, let's go. All right, so when I filmed my first vlog, I was really nervous. I would just take my camera on walks like to the supermarket or to the train station or whatever. Slowly, slowly, I got more and more used to holding my camera in a public space. And that's what led me to be able to vlog in public. Also this little thing here, this was my like karma medic animation at the beginning of a video before the one that you guys see now. And now I have that whole intro animated of me and my desk. Crazy how much has changed. Vlog it, I'm currently heading to my first class in the morning where I'm doing a presentation on HIV and vaccine development. Hopefully everything goes well. I'll catch up with you guys after I finish my presentation. I remember being so nervous walking through that hallway while vlogging. I was like, I hope no one comes. I hope no one sees me. There's the shard. I was giving a- What was that? <laughs> Stunning for the camera, yeah, that's- <laughs> That's exactly what that was. So to give you guys a little bit of an update about my so week, all around yesterday we had dissection of the upper limb, so that means from the shoulders oh. all the way down to the hands. I miss dissection so much, like being in the dissecting lab and just being there with your cadaver, taking your time, going through everything. Such a, such a good, good experience. All settled in. I'm finally home now. That's the end. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's the end of my day. <laughs> Karma Medic whiteboard got an update. All right, what is up guys? Karma Medic here and welcome back to another show. What is up guys? Karma Medic here. <laughs> it's really it's really interesting to see how my like intonation has changed with that intro. I got this glass jar and I filled it with M&Ms of the same color as the Karma Medic logo. I did that to commemorate our 1K subscriber goal. So I showed this to you guys. 1K subscribers, let's go. Interesting story guys. When I went and I bought these M&Ms and I remember thinking to myself like, what a huge waste of money. How could you spend 13 pounds on stupid M&Ms to put in the background of your videos? And looking back on that now, it was just so worth it. The memory and the commemoration of hitting 1000 subscribers in this glass jar is worth so much more than 13 pounds. And I keep it on my desk in the background of almost every single video as a reminder, like this is where I started. All right, now that we have the story of the M&M jar out of the way, <laughs> let's move on to the next video. This was the second vlog that I made on my YouTube channel and it was the one where I felt like I really stepped up my editing game. And as you can see, it got 230,000 views compared to the first one that got 40,000. So it did very, very well. I didn't know we were in the information <laughs> society. <laughs> da, da, da. I was sitting outside this building trying to vlog my like morning when I arrived on campus. And this woman walked by me, catching me fully red-handed, just like vlogging on the stairs. And I was like, and then I continued. So this vlog was a really good example of the lifestyle that I try to promote on this channel as much as possible, which is that academics are incredibly important and you should focus on your academics. That's the number one, well, a big part of why you're at university, but it doesn't mean that you can't have a balanced life. It doesn't mean you can't play sports in your evenings like I did here play basketball every single Thursday. I'd hang out with my friends during the day at school. I could go to extracurricular activities that my friends were doing. I'm trying to promote that you have time to do other things in your life. I just think it's all about how you prioritize your time and where you choose to spend your time. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. All right, and then it happened. And then I uploaded the medical student finals week vlog, the video that would forever change my life and my YouTube channel. So this vlog over here went super, super viral, which is absolutely crazy. It now has 1.8 million views. I've always wanted to comment on this because no one has ever commented on it. And I just like, I feel like I need the people to know. I want people to know. You can see my tripod through this like crack in my door, which is going to be the next shot that I film. This shot that I'm filming is my camera on that tripod that you just saw over there. And this was also the first time that I included some like serious B-roll in the background of my videos. And this is that hyperlapse. This was also sort of like my first big, big editing project. I forget how many gigabytes of footage I recorded. I think it was like 200. Is 200 <laughs> gigabytes worth of footage 
Yeah, 200 gigs. So I edited this vlog over something like 10 days. I would do like two or three hours a day, something like that. It took absolutely forever. Now I'm a lot faster at editing my vlogs because I've sort of gotten used to what I like, my editing style and things like that. This video is pretty important for me because it was one of the first times I did something completely different, completely out there in terms of the content that I had been uploading on my channel. Everything was revolved around medical school and studying and entrance exams and things like that. And then I went and made a video about food, about meal prep. And I think this is one of the best things that I do in regards to my channel. It's that I try and do anything that makes me happy, anything that I find fun, anything that I find enjoyable. And I think that's what makes this channel and this hobby so much fun for me and something that I really enjoy doing. Big shout out to Arslan. He helped me film this video, <laughs> even though he was probably cringing at me the whole time. And then he gave me this amazing review. And yeah, let's see what it tastes like. Give your honest opinion. Like off camera? <laughs> <laughs> Very average. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. All right, the next video that I want to comment about real quick is my room tour. This is one of my favorite videos that I've made and it's because Alexia was there. She's the one who helped me film the video. Most of the videos I film are just me by myself talking to the camera like I am right now. So anytime there's someone else with me in a video or helping me film the video, it just makes it so much more fun. It's like much more of a social experience. <laughs> <laughs> what is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. We refilmed that intro, I don't even know how many times because we just broke out in laughter. It's obviously so unnatural to like knock on my own door and be like, hey, welcome to my room. Um, banking, as well as, and it's also where I keep anything that I need to keep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> Going in. No, no. Speaking of Alexia, let's react to the video of Alexia and I going to Paris. I completely surprised her. She had no idea that I was going to book this ticket. It was for her birthday, which is December 13th. Hello. Do you so we we're about to go out for dinner. I wanted to do this surprise and I wanted to film her reaction without her knowing. And my heart was just like beating through the roof. I had one camera hidden over here and the day before I had placed the camera there, checked the angle and then drawn two lines with a pencil so that I knew exactly how to put it the next time. And I'd hidden it right next to the, these two candles so that she'd hopefully not see it. Sweetie. There it is, yeah. I want to get and then the second camera. My birthday present. My birthday present. <laughs> and the second camera was here. So that's where I keep my cameras normally anyway, up on that shelf faced in this direction. So she would never know if it was turned on because that's where it always is. Well, happy birthday. I hope you like the surprise and I can't wait to go with you. Where? Wait, what? Wait, where? What? This is a plane ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're going to Paris. <laughs> Made my heart melt made my heart melt. Oh, this scene is so funny. Okay, okay, we have to play this. So a little bit of context. Alexia and I finally find the place where we want to put our lock, where we want to solidify our love. And this is what happens. Open it. Be careful the lock doesn't fall. Of course. Of course. I literally just said it. And of course it falls through the crack into the river. Let's move on to another video. A lot of you guys wanted me to react to my like quarantine day in the life vlogs. So let's do one of those as well. I think I'm going to react to this one because it's a little bit different than some of my other vlogs. So yeah, I loved, I loved making this video. When I'm vlogging, I don't really take the time to set up the perfect shot or find the perfect frame or do something multiple times to make sure it's perfect. When I'm vlogging, I'm documenting what is happening in my life. I'm doing what I would normally do anyway, but I'm just placing the camera somewhere and filming it. But in this video, I really took my time with every shot that I did. I made sure that everything was like neat, everything was aligned. Here and welcome back to another dose. Today I'm gonna to be running you through my typical study routine during quarantine. So grab your coffee. I don't know if anyone noticed this, but there's a little piece of dust stuck to my fingernail here. And when I saw this in the edit, I was so mad because it was Wednesday night, which means my video is going live on Thursday morning and I didn't have time to redo this shot and get rid of that stupid piece of dust. I set an alarm for seven hours of sleep almost every single day of the year, whether that's weekday or weekend, whether that's university time or vacation. Yeah, I honestly don't think I've slept more than seven hours probably in all of 2020. I usually sleep between six and a half and seven hours. This is easily my favorite part of the video. 
mirror and chill break at around 8.30 p.m. After putting away the dishes, I walk to my mirror and give myself a motivational speech about how there's only one hour of studying left in the day and that I can do this despite how tired I am from studying and how much I just want to turn on my PlayStation and play some Call of Duty with the boys. For this last hour of study. <laughs> All right, so I don't actually do that. I just thought it would be really funny as like an Easter egg to put in this video. Happy studying, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. All right, on to the next video. Guys, Karma Medic here, and welcome back to another dose. We've actually done it. It's so crazy to say out loud, but recently this channel has passed 100,000 subscribers. Can we take a second to talk about my hair? This is what my hair should look like, okay? <laughs> nice, nice and short, you know, neat. Not this on my head. This is way too much hair. I need a haircut so badly. I never would have thought this would happen back when I started my YouTube channel and still I'm pretty sure I don't really understand what it means to have a channel with 100,000 subscribers. It's this was a big, big moment for me because it sort of solidified all the work that I had been doing over almost a two year period. Like when I had a thousand subscribers, I put it into this physical object. Like I can look at this and I can know that a thousand people subscribe to my channel. And then when I got a hundred thousand subscribers, I could put it into a tangible physical plaque on the wall. And that meant that I had a hundred thousand subscribers. It sort of helped me understand what a hundred thousand subscribers means. And now as we grow more and more and more, I think I need more objects because <laughs> I definitely do not understand. I can't wrap my head around 250,000 of you clicking subscribe on my YouTube channel. Okay guys, and I think that's actually a perfect place to end this video. I'm gonna close it over here. I have had so much fun taking this trip down memory lane, having all of this nostalgia, looking through all of my older videos. So thank you guys for suggesting all the different videos for me to react to over on Instagram. Don't forget to follow me over there if you don't already. Let me know in a comment down below which videos I should have reacted to or any of your own reactions or comments to my older videos if you haven't seen them. I think that is it for me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Happy studying, happy chill happy working, whatever it is you're doing, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! So I put out a... Oh gosh. Had me out like a light -y, like a light -y. Oh no, I don't need to bring this back. I don't need to bring this back. Ah. Might have to cut that out in the edit.